Well, the difference between a purchase of a solar system and a, a prepaid lease or PPA is, is this. Uh, in, the, in the prepaid lease, you have two different flavors. Uh, one flavor, you keep the SREX, those solar credits, and in the other flavor, you don't keep the SREX. If you uh, agree to surrender the SREX and leave them with the financing company, they let you pay less up front. So for, as an example, let's look at a 10KW system. Uh, that would be about $33,000 or 330 a watt. Um, when you purchase, you're entitled to the incentive from the federal government of the 30% tax credit, which is worth about $9,900. So your net out of pocket is $23,100. Whereas in the prepaid, keeping the SREX, you'd only pay uh, less than $21,000. And if you left the SREX with the uh, financing company, you'd only pay 17401 So, but there's a little more to the story. When you keep the SREX, not only do you make electricity and not have to pay that to the utility company, you have the SREX and that's another source of revenue. So electricity of about $2,250, which is the same across the board for all three, uh, if you keep the SREX at $125, and, and that's uh, that goes up and down, uh, let's say about $1,500. In the purchase, you'd uh, recover your investment in 6.2 years uh, with the prepay uh, keeping the SREX, it's only 5.5 years, and if you surrender the SREX, it's 7.7 .7 years. So the worst of the three seems to be to leave the SREX with the um, finance company. The two best are either purchasing or uh, the PPA, PPA uh, keeping the SREX. Now, there's a little more to the story. Uh, when it comes to the warranty on the equipment, when you own the system, of course you own it, and that's really good because you have complete control uh, of the system, but the only warranty you get is a 25 year warranty on the major equ uh, equipment, the panels and the inverters, and uh, 10 years on the labor. You don't get any other warranty. But when a financing company is doing a PPA or a lease, they're gonna give you 25 years soup to nuts. Even if your tree falls on their system, they are gonna fix it. If it gets stolen or vandalized or anything, they're gonna fix it, it's theirs. If your inverter fails, they're going to fix it. So this is where the lease, it leans a little towards them. This is sort of like an extended warranty of soup to nuts through the entire lease. You don't have no worries whatsoever. Now, since you prepaid it, you don't have to worry about anybody assuming, like let's say you're gonna sell your house in 10 years, you don't have to worry about someone uh, assuming a payment. They're just gonna get the system, and not only they're gonna get a system, they're gonna get it with an extended warranty built in. Isn't that awesome? Um, so here's the benefit of ownership. The system is completely yours, okay? But on the prepay, lease, or PPA, there's less upfront money needed. You're keeping the SREX, and you're getting the revenue of the SREX and the uh, electricity, and you get this all-inclusive warranty. So it's really a close call, but it seems like it's a leaning a little in favor of the prepaid uh, PPA when you keep the SREX. So I, I hope that was helpful.